Rockport Collins have been talking to us all summer and saying they've got something really big for Oshkosh. So we're here at their pavilion to take a look at it. Yesterday we introduced the touchscreen flight display for ProLine Fusion, the latest innovation for the family of avionics systems. This will be available for future applications of ProLine Fusion and it allows a head up, eyes forward interface by interacting directly with the primary display. It's as simple as this, touch what you want to change. So I have a big zone in the middle that I can touch to reconfigure the display between a full screen SVS presentation like this or a windowed configuration. So I'll show you that. Press in the center, click split PFD, and I have now my map over here uh, on this side of the, uh, of the window. It's as simple as touch in the middle of the primary display. I'll go back to the full PFD, touch again, split the PFD, and I can put a map here. I can put a map here, you put an approach chart there, so when you're flying an instrument approach, you can follow your progress. The own ship position is on right there on the primary display, along with your situational awareness, synthetic vision, and all of your basic flight parameters on the PFD. You can also divide this section of the primary display into two uh, halves, the top and the bottom. So you can keep a map up in the, in the uh, upper portion, put a checklist on the bottom. Very easy to switch those if you wanted a checklist in the top, map on the bottom. Just slide them around accordingly, click, click done. It's as simple as that. Other things that are touchable on the primary display are to select your navigation source. You can press on your nav source indication for the automation. If I want to change the FMS from FMS1 to FMS2 as my active nav source, I can do that. Go to raw data from a VOR receiver or an ILS receiver. Now, that's going to happen automatically on an ILS approach, but if you want to do it manually, just touch the uh, legend there and press it to overlay traffic and weather. So you can call up a weather radar, for example, right on your horizontal situation indicator and have an idea while you're looking and flying attitude and uh, basic attitude flying of exactly where storms are in front of you without taking your eyes off the PFD. And that's, that's important in summer weather. I would also add the radar is a multi-scan weather radar, so it's fully automated. All the pilot has to do is turn it on and decide where you want to show it on the primary display, over a map on this half of the display, or on the uh, multi-function display. Uh, that's the primary flight display. I moved into the multi-function display. The key on the multi-function display is graphical map interactivity. So the map is fully touchable, fully interactive. So the program, the navigation, the flight management systems, touch what you want to change. It's the same concept. So touch right on a waypoint. I'm going to delete that waypoint from the flight plan. I can just do, delete it just as simply as that. With your eyes on the map, touching on the map, you can pan and zoom around the map and look at the activity for another day's flight. look at the whole country, check out, uh, frankly, you could cross the pond or go anywhere, zoom back in, have a look at another geographic area, and then quickly recenter on your present position. So do that, just press center, I'm back to my airplane's present position on the flight plan. If you can operate a personal device, any tablet PC, which is icons and touch enabled, you can operate this avionics system. So that's the Rockwell Collins touch control screen system. It's so intuitive, it's just amazing. All you gotta do is touch the screen and up comes what you wanna do. Makes instrument flying a piece of cake. Couldn't be easier.